and elderly students in PG class, in the, I think in chemistry, I think, she tried to commit suicide because of the harassment of the SFI students in the Kerala University College. Katie Jalil gave full freedom to the teachers' organization and students' organization and employees' organization to control the universities. Mm. BJP governments uh, captured JNU and all other universities. They modified the yellow regulations also just to capture the universities. They decided to appoint faculty members just uh, by interview. Just like that. Mm -hmm. In Kerala, CPM has done the same. Mm -hmm. At present, after 2016, the university main files are controlled by the CPM people. Mm -hmm. And they will get uh, records. Mm -hmm. I, they would just forward them. Yeah. And I keep all the secrets. <laughs> I will not expose their names. Yeah. You are in a fight with the Narayi Vijayan government in, a, in multiple issues. But uh, before that, uh, you were a syndicate member in Kerala University. Uh, Kusat, as well as a former registrar at uh, Kerala University. So, uh, could you please tell a little bit about your background uh, and uh, you know how did this activism started? Uh, for me, I was uh, working in Kerala University and retired from service in 2003. And um, in 2006, I was uh, nominated as a member of the syndicate of the CUSAT and in 2011 I was nominated to Kerala NC syndicate. Again I was a member of the syndicate in CUSAT in 2014 and uh, after that uh, in 2017 we formed an organization Save University Campaign Committee mm. consisting of academics all over the states, all the academics in service and also retired persons. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of network mm -hmm. from Karnur University up to, and till up to Kerala. Yeah. What was the trigger for forming this particular organization? Uh, in 2016, in Kerala University a college in university college there a student a lady student in pg class in the, i think in chemistry i think she tried to commit suicide because of the harassment of the sfi students in the kerala university college and also some sfi leaders they are not allowing her to study uh, sometimes it's, they will ask, come, come out for an agitation before secretaries. And she said, she is uh, coming from Barkala and she's a very poor student. She wants to complete her course in the college and to get a rank. But she, students say, no, not nursery. Attend the university of attending class. We will try to get first rank. Mm. She said, she said, no, no. I want to study. So she hesitated to join the education. Mm. On the same day, she tried to commit suicide. That was a provocation for us mm. to organize an organization but then, like, say, then you had uh, retired back then, right? So yes, yeah, I retired back. Uh, yeah, this is in 2006. Up to 2016, I was a member of the syndicate in the Gujarat. Yeah. And after that, we, uh, Dr. I, we contacted uh, our former judge Shamsuddin, and uh, he said, "I am willing." And we shall form an organization. Mm. And uh, on Shahjir Khan, mm. 
uh, he is uh, active politician mm -hmm. and a student leader of SUCA. Yes. And uh, one Dr. Thangamani, biotechnology professor retired, Kerala University, mm -hmm. and one A.G. George professor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided to start this organization. Where did the first meeting happen? First meeting happened in uh, uh, Gandhi Bhavan. Gandhi Bhavan. Gandhi Bhavan. Okay. We organized that meeting and uh, at that time we decided to a, commi a commission, a judicial commission be appointed hmm. and to um, get a, a compliance, grievance of all the students, parents and teachers in the state. Okay. And we, uh, one sitting was in Trivandrum, next one Kotayam, then in Cochin and then in Calicut. Hmm. So, uh, when you were working at the university, yeah. uh, were you involved in some kind of uh, political activism? Yes, uh, you know, uh, I was the leader of the staff organization mm. of the Kerala University and of all the universities in the state, mm. a federation of university employees. Mm. And I was the general secretary of that. Mm. That was affiliated to the Congress party. The, yes, that is affiliated to Congress party. I'm a full congressman. Yes. And but uh, uh, but uh, this organization, uh, the Save University Campaign Committee, is not a con uh, Congress organization. It is an independent organization. Mm -hmm. In this, having uh, people, people of left, different, left, yeah, different, different, and also and uh, third persons are in service. But uh, the persons in service are not not uh, willing not to come 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 in light. Was that because uh, the left uh, unions are very strong in the university? Yeah, in university, left unions are very strong. Teachers' organizations and employees' organizations, as well as students' organizations, <laughs> they are strong. But uh, uh, it, so it is very difficult to um, yeah. manage. CPM is very eager and they are very careful and they know the the benefits they get from the education field mm -hmm. and so they did that uh, the, so the, the all the universities in the states mm -hmm. are under the control of the cpm people even though the udf people are mm -hmm. in ruin mm -hmm. so uh, that has been the case for many decades in kerala no? so but do you think there was uh, some kind of extra favoritism or you know kind of massive corruption happening in this since 2016 2000 massive corruption after the pinrai government hmm. first government they first they decided to bifurcate this uh, higher education uh, ministry to two general education and uh, then yeah. this uh, higher, higher education. education for higher education the uh, ktj delhi was uh, the minister for higher education. That was a purposeful move of the CPM because before that, even during the period of MA baby or ET or Rab, they all are uh, they are not directly involved in the student politics and teachers politics. Mm. But the KT Jail after uh, assuming charge KT Jalil gave full freedom to the teachers organization and students organization and employees organization to control the universities. Mm -hmm. For that, he decided to appoint their wins, uh, were rubber stamps by census. Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, Dr. Jayushnan, Dr. Iqbal and all these were appointed by CPM and they were very Independent, qualified. even though no. uh, they are CPM allied, but they are qualified. Mm -hmm. But after Asimi Char, the KT Jalil, he appointed uh, some vice chancellors. Mm -hmm. So there is this allegation uh, about uh, the BJP government at the center also, like uh, trying to capture uh, all the union uh, government controlled universities. Central universities, basically. So, but uh, do you think that this is the same that is happening in Kerala? BJP governments uh, captured JNU and all other universities. They modified the yellow regulations also just to capture the universities. 2010 UGC regulation, the appointment of teachers have some norms, 
her academic merit was have been given full uh, fund marks uh, that is a uh, for academic marks marks for uh, yeah, the pub publications then net and for that and but uh, they decided in 2018 they decided to appoint faculty members just uh, by interview <laughs> it was only to uh, appoint bjp people in all the universities mm. in, in all central universities they appointed their fellows mm. just like that mm. in kerala the cpm has done the same mm. they have uh, used this norms this norm, their... the same norm the norms but where was a blessing for the cpm people here to appoint Uh, their fellows. So, uh, 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 example is the appointment of uh, the minister's uh, wife for this uh, one Rajesh. Hmm. KK Rajesh. KK Rajesh. Rik- no, no, MB Rajesh. MB Rajesh. MB Rajesh's wife was appointed as uh, assistant professor in Sanskrit University. Hmm. Yes. And uh, V K Biju, X M B. His wife was appointed at, uh, here in Kerala University. Hmm. and uh, last of all this dadi is wife in kanur university hmm. all these have been done okay by using this no of the kerala uh, ugc yeah. so now uh, can you just uh, tell us about some of the important cases or some of the important uh, revelations made by uh, save kerala you know save uh, uh, university uh, before we are forming this save university campaign committee under my leadership formerly its name was higher education protection council mm. that was formed in 2008 mm. that was the first form of this order. that is for first form okay the name of their uh, then they named their higher education protection council was changed to the save university campaign committee in 2017 mm. what were your actions the yeah. first action was we Uh, in 2007 in kerala university there was a very great scam you, you have had the uh, mm-hmm. alston